guys. Um, it's Pam from Shepherd's Talk. Um, yesterday I was showing my spinning with the Turkish drop spindle. And I said I'd show you a little bit more about it today. The reason I like it is because, <clears throat> well, first of all, this particular one, it's, it's a tiny one. I spin a lot of my um, pygora on it. A lot of fine yarns, you could do a great sock yarn on it. And um, right here what I'm spinning is merino. So it's a hand dyed merino that I dyed last year and just getting to it. But uh, anyway, it's, uh, it's got the three crosses going across the Turkish drop spindle. And the way you wind it on makes it form a center pull ball. You can see this? And I started down here and brought it up, the uh, lead line up and then began to spin. So I have a line down here that's tied on. When I'm done, I'll have a line over here, you know, of thread, and I'll put the two together and ply it. So you're, you know, you, you don't have that step of um, spinning another ball to ply them together. You could take off um, your your yarn with a regular drop spindle on a um, ball winder which I do as well you just you know you're gonna wind it on but you don't want the ball winder I mean the spindle flying all around the floor so we put it in a shoe box but this eliminates a step so there is a particular way to wind it on to get this center pull ball and um, I had ended it so let's see so how you do that is you go over two of the helicopter uh, blades here, under one, over two, under one, over two. Let me see, I'm under one, over two. One, two. And you really get the rhythm of it once you get going. So now I'm gonna spin on this little guy and just show you how nicely it spins. Now, you know, I know a lot of you say I'm not drop spindlers, but I really love the drops. And look how portable it is. Actually, today I'm going to visit a friend in the hospital and it's going with me. Um, you know, I could put it away if need be, just quick, quick, quick. Look how this spins. It spins beautifully. Um, draft out. Look at this. I have to let it drop down here so I can ply this out. But it uh, really, really spins nicely. And so that's your Turkish drop spindle. I have quite a collection of drop spindles. And actually, Shepherd's Talk is having some made called the Shepherd's Drop Spindles. Um, now, we've been working on um, having a particular kind made. Um, right now we're gonna have them made for a nice bulky chunky yarn so that you know you c people can spin their locks in a lock yarn right on the drop spindle but look at that go if you get a nice the key is you need to know where you're getting your Turkish spindle it has to be very balanced that's the key or that's gonna wobble and you won't have fun with any drop spindle you want it very 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 centered so now here we go i'm gonna oh you attach it up here with a half hitch knot it's there's no hook you just do a half hitch knot so i'm under one over two 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 under one then i wind it up put the half hitch knot and I'm ready to go. So that's uh, your Turkish drop spindle that will produce a beautiful center pull ball for you to ply from. Okay, I hope you'll give it a try. If you need help drop spindling, go to our website, www.shepherdstalk.com. We'll see you guys when we get our uh, drop spindles called the Shepherd's Drop Spindles ready to go. Have a good day.